we kind of do that in politics, but you know, and we follow what, and I say this is a major league, we follow what the people are doing, what they want us to do. And um, we have some tough battles in Richmond. The House of Delegates kills most bills that sometimes we get out of the Senate. We kill them in the House because we're in a deep minority, 66 to 34. And when things get sent to committee, if they pass the Senate, which they do occasionally, it goes into a committee and it, uh, people come down from our area and advocate for it and the bill will lose on a 5 to 2 vote or a 5 to 1 vote or a 6 to 3 vote in a subcommittee and that's it. It's over. It doesn't get to be, doesn't get a lot of uh, attention. As a matter of fact, some of these bills went through so many times. The press doesn't really pay attention much anymore. So we have to change the composition of the House. And last year, Hillary Clinton won our state, the only southern state that she won. And she actually won 17 uh, House of Delegates districts that are now held by Republicans. Um, 17, just coincidentally, is the number we need to take control. We win 17, pick up 17, we have 51 votes. So if you live in uh, Fairfax or Prince William or Loudoun, there are chances right up here in Northern Virginia to give us more seats and more power. Even if we don't get 17, if we pick up 10 more, 8 more, that'll make a huge difference on how the issues that we care about are considered in Richmond. Now, how many people here from uh, Fairfax? Okay, a lot of people here from Fairfax. We only have, we have 14 delegates from Fairfax County and only three Republicans left. And uh, they all have good challenges this year. Well, one of them is an open seat. Our, our most likely pickup seat is in South Fairfax County where Dave Albo is retiring. Our Democratic nominee is named Kathy Tran. Anybody heard of Kathy? I hope you'll help her campaign. She is, uh, she will be the first Asian woman ever elected in Virginia, so that's a good thing. She'll be the first Vietnamese person, uh, first Vietnamese person ever elected in Virginia, and she's a terrific candidate. She's 38 years old, she's president of the PTA at West uh, Springfield Elementary School. Everybody loves her in West Springfield. That district is West Springfield, uh, Fairfax Station, and Morton, and the uh, Mason Neck area. Uh, the, the second one, there's, and we have two challenge races in Fairfax. One is in Chantilly area, where Jim Lemonian is, is the incumbent. His opponent is a, the current chairman of the Fairfax County Library Board. Her name is Carrie Delaney. She's a fabulous candidate. She's an outstanding candidate. So if you live anywhere near Chantilly and Centerville, uh, I hope you'll support Carrie in that challenge race. And finally in Fairfax, uh, Tim Hugo, who happens to be the Republican caucus chair, who represents uh, Centerville and Clifton and Parks of Prince William County, uh, has a gentleman named Dante. Uh, pardon me? Yeah, Don, uh, Dante is a Air Force Academy graduate. He's running a fantastic campaign, and uh, I, uh, he's going to give Tim all that he can take. So those are the three in Fairbanks. And Prince William, I can't go.